Hey, my name is Andre, and I'm here to talk today about a project that I've been working on for the past few months. A very exciting project for me. Uh, it was a personal goal of mine to work with Python scripting, to start learning about that, and then to start working with Meraki APIs and other sorts of services into the same sort of uh, product or same sort of solution. And this is exactly what this project is all about. So let's have a look at what it is. So what I have here is a project that will be available in GitHub, in my own GitHub. So github.com slash amcamillo with two L's. Uh, and so I'll come up with a full explanation in a detailed guide on medium.com, on my page on medium.com. But basically, this is the diagram of what uh, the project entails. So it is a cloud-hosted uh, application that has a front end. The front end is running on Node Red. The front end then talks to the back end, which is a Python script. That Python script is then responsible for articulating uh, and grabbing data from the camera, from the Meraki camera, the sensor, sending it back and relaying it to AWS recognition. The AWS the recognition service then sends back, spills out a, lo a whole lot of information about that image back to my Python script. That Python script then creates and uh, treats that information in a way that makes it available through the front end for the user. The real exciting part about this, this new iteration of this application is that I've uh, added a new capabilities, including the capability for uh, this application to show me what's the reaction uh, of a crowd that's sitting in front of the camera. Use case would be to showcase the capabilities of the camera of recognizing people in it. Most importantly, also providing some sort of feedback back to a presenter or back to whoever is in front of the camera, right? That needs to have a look at the sentiment of the people in front of it. That's the use case. And what I'm using for that last piece of the integration and last piece of um, functionality is a service on the web. It's a word cloud service. It's a, it's a product, basically a free product created by a developer uh, that I found randomly on the internet. It works very well, uh, good, good on him. It has a few limitations here and there, but it, it's great for my project. So this is, a, this is what my project does. Right, And all the while, of course, you can leverage the integration and the benefits of managing the camera through uh, the cloud dashboard and so on and so forth. Okay, so then let's jump into the front end of this application. So this application has been started on the background by myself and it's running at the moment. So this is a look at the front end. So let me get started by having a look at what uh, are the analytics that the camera is seeing. So under room analytics on here on the left hand side of the menu, I can see everything that the uh, sensors in the camera, in built in the camera are reporting back to me. So as you can see, I can see instantaneous luminosity, uh, historical luminosity deal and so on and so forth. Useful for people who need to keep track of if their lights on or lights off in an environment. Right now, I'm not making use of it. I'm just reading data here, making sure that uh, I can grab that data from the, from the camera but it could be used for something like that in the future. What I'm doing afterwards, it's all leveraging the integration with AWS. So first off, I wanna start with audience, audience statistics. So I'm looking at everyone in that frame and I'm counting 80 people at the moment. So I have a photo in front of my camera sitting in my desk and that photo has about 80 people in it. Uh, it's counting uh, the average age, and I have in my Python script an algorithm that is basically calculating the average age of all people in that frame. Very exciting, simple stuff, but very good, very good stuff that can be pushed back to the business, to a business that will provide some sort of value back to them. Then, this is the integration with the Word Cloud service that I said. So right now I'm reading a whole bunch of sentiments, and I'm sending it them back to uh, this word cloud service and it's bringing me back or just uh, shooting me back an image with this right here. So as you can see, most of the people in that frame are calm uh, and some more are happy. Not so many are angry, some are feeling fear apparently from what from AWS is reading uh, and so on and so forth. This is a word cloud. So the bigger the, the word, the bigger the response and the more often that sort of word is seen in uh, in a text 
that's basically what's going on behind the word cloud, right? What's also exciting, we can have a look at the real-time snapshot of the camera. So when I click on audience snapshot, it will take a little while. It'll download that snapshot from the Meraki cloud directly. The demo gods have not graced me with the pleasure of it working right now. That's fine. It would just show a real-time photo of what the camera is seeing. And finally, under the hood, analytics is exactly everything that AWS is shooting back at me with information. So we can see in details every single face detection response, including emotional state, gender of the person that is identifying. It's a binary gender here. Uh, and it, it has a, an estimate of the age of that person. I, AWS recognition can also recognize objects, uh, which it calls label, right? So these are objects effectively. It can also recognize text. So if uh, there were any brands or any text in front of, or in that picture that it's analyzing in the moment, it would just shoot it back to us. So for example, right now it's recognizing a the in there with a 20% um, 20 assurance, which is not high in, enough for us to trust that sort of uh, identification. So I wouldn't even consider that to be truthful. And finally, uh, I've also added a, a fifth icon in there, a fifth section to that dashboard, which is the about, where we would be able to see a customer image, right? So if we're demonstrating this to a customer or something of that sort, you can just load their own picture here uh, and it'll show their logo or something of that sort. This is a quick overview of this application. The use cases vary. Most use cases here are showcasing the ability for, for us to develop this sort of integrations with different technologies. And uh, of course, for customers to make use of, of all these technologies all at once, I, I think. Thank you for having a look at this video and hope, hopefully you found it useful and play around with, with the code if you want, improve it, build upon it. That's all for, for the community to, to grow and build. Thank you.